Hi, it's Weston I, and in this episode, we are reacting to photographer memes. All right, getting right into it. We've got our first meme, 10 reasons to shoot JPEG. So we got 10 images here. Can't even swipe. That's pretty funny. Me deleting my old Instagram posts from when I just started photography. <laughs> oh yeah, I know that feeling, but I don't remove my posts from Instagram like my old ones because I like to go back and see where I started from. Normal people, $900 shoes, $1,300 jacket, $75,000 truck. Are you sure that's normal? I mean, my, sh my shoes are like $30 and most expensive jacket I ever bought was $70 and it's really nice, but I was like, ooh, $70. And then photographer, $7 shirt, that sounds about right. Got a Sony right there. $95,000, that's not the case. I, I have a Sony, you could pick these things up for like $1,500 to $3,500. $12 shoes, that's a little cheap even for me. I want my shoes to, I want my shoes to last. I usually get those high-end 30 to $35 shoes. And a $4 Nokia. No, I'm pretty sure that almost every photographer has an iPhone. I'm not sure why that is, probably because we like to use Apple products because of AirDrop makes life a lot easier. So far I haven't actually really laughed at these. Like I haven't gotten a hard laugh out of these memes yet, so hopefully I find something good on here. <laughs> the sky in scenic locations versus the sky at grocery stores. You drive all the way out to a special location. You spent all this money and all this time traveling to this spot and then the sky just looks like absolute garbage. And then when you walk out of the grocery store into the parking lot, and you see this. Okay, this is kind of funny. What I think I do, what clients think I do, what my family thinks I do, what taxes think I do, <laughs> what friends think I do, this is what I actually do. Oh, you're a photographer. That's a calm, relaxing job. Meanwhile, photographers. Yeah, I don't even know. What... <laughs> Why is this tripod on fire? <laughs> Looks like a decent tripod. Wait, this is the exact tripod that I have right now. This, the tripod that my camera is on right now is this exact same tripod. That's funny. Your next task is to shoot in low light. My 10 year old camera with its kit lens. Uh, squid game memes, so funny. <laughs> me choosing a new apartment versus me choosing a new camera. Oh, yes, that is that is that is true. <laughs> Tag your friend. If they don't respond in one minute, they owe you a ProGrade Digital SDXC V9256 Gigabyte UHS-2 card. I want another one of those. My back after carrying all these fantastic photography skills. No more like my back after carrying my 50 pound backpack up the side of a mountain for a picture. Client's expectations versus client's budget. I mean, hey, just use what you've got around you as long as you zoom in a lot and use that good old F1.8, you can make any location look really cool. I'm a natural light photographer. You just don't know how to use a flash. I don't like the look of flash. Natural light always looks better. I mean, I'm not using a natural light right now, but like when you're in the studio, you can't use natural light because the window's not gonna be enough, especially right now it's actually dark outside, so can't use natural light for that. And most of the time, like for videos, like you gotta light it like this, but never, never use just a direct flash unless you want it to look like the 90s. It is very important that you always bounce your flash or have it be from the side and diffused. Never just do like your on-camera flash, it's disgusting. <laughs> Canon, <laughs> we're gonna make the best lenses for Canon cameras, Nikon. We're gonna make the best lenses for Nikon cameras. Meanwhile, Sigma, <laughs> that, that's a funny meme. I mean, aside from photography, what's your real job? <laughs> this is my real job. Oh, this one's relatable. As a photographer, what do you think of this photo I've shot yesterday? I personally love it. The composition is terrible. The photo was deep fried while editing. The watermark is awful. I feel like this is a personal jab at me because I used to put terrible watermarks on all my photography. I'm now anti-watermark for the most part. Don't put watermarks on my, on my photos. I think it 
distracts from the picture, makes it look weird. I used to kind of deep fry my photos with editing because I thought it looked cool. I don't do that very much anymore. I do like stylistic edits, but I definitely don't deep fry them like I used to. And the composition is terrible. I love the little touch of the cat being so low in frame and the composition is terrible. <laughs> Crop. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Another Squid Game meme, but uh, true. Me planning my night photography session, and then me freezing cold waiting for the exposure to end. Oh, uh, yes. Been there, done that many times. Scary one is when you're like right by the ocean doing one and you can hear the waves coming up. I was once standing and I was like, I, the tide's coming in, I know that much, but it's pitch black. And I'm like, I think the, the water's getting closer and closer. I have my flashlight and my route planned to escape when I'm done, but yeah, it's a little bit scary, but at least on the Oregon coast when I'm shooting photography, there aren't like scary wild animals out there. There's probably some weird people out there. <laughs> but yeah, I've spent a lot of times shooting photos at 3 a.m. at the coast. It's very interesting and I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Can you read the third line? I can't, it's too far. Just crank up your aperture, lol. <laughs> Landscape photographers on YouTube. Just go into your local woodland and shoot. My local woodland. <laughs> oh man, is that, is that Chernobyl? Maybe not, there's cars parked there. I don't know, it looks like Chernobyl. Yeah, I have to say, I'm extremely lucky to live like right next to woods. Like if I walk just a couple, uh, just like 500 feet that way, it's trees and woods. When you screw up your settings and you end up with the best photo you've shot in a while. <laughs> uh, yes, been there. <laughs> I like this one. Photographers, can we stop the megapixel race and focus on decent mirrorless batteries instead? Manufacturers. Best I can do is 45 megapixels. <laughs> I think Sony's doing pretty well on this though. The Sony batteries actually last a really long time. Not as much as like a Canon 1DX monster battery, but I have a battery rip on my camera and I just throw two Sony batteries in there and they last for hours. Like I can go all day with just those two batteries in there, just doing photo shoots. And with video shoots, it's nice to have another set of batteries to throw in there, but I don't usually have battery life problems with the new Sony batteries, but it used to be a lot worse. I used to be a Fujifilm shooter and those batteries were like that big <laughs> and uh, they only lasted like an hour or two and I had to have a lot of them and I was always scared about running out of battery life. With the Sonys, I'm usually never scared. I have plenty of them and they're always charged up, ready to go. One time I actually left on a trip and I only had one battery with me. I accidentally forgot all the batteries on the charger and I just had one battery with me that was just the one that was in the camera and it was at 50% power. And I was like, oh, oh well. It was just a photo session. So I just did the whole photo session with that one battery. It lasted the whole time with percentage to spare. These Sony batteries, pretty incredible. The joys of using an A7 III to shoot your YouTube videos stops recording after 30 minutes. <laughs> Me when the bride and groom are in the same hotel and I'm shooting alone, back and forth. <laughs> yes, true story. I shot a wedding where the bride and her whole bridal party was up at the very top of this super high-end hotel in the middle of a big city. And so getting there and getting parking was hard enough. Then I get there and I carry all my gear to the elevator, it takes me to the top floor where they have this whole penthouse, they've got a view, and it's just this crazy big thing. And it's a huge, huge hotel penthouse, but there are like 40 people in there for some reason. And trying to get around was really, really hard and trying to fit around and get all of the shots that I needed to get, it was crazy. The groom and his guys were down somewhere in the middle of the hotel in some random tiny hotel room. And they were both getting ready at the same time and so I would have to shoot the bridal party up in the big room with the view and all that stuff and shoot them and grab as many shots as I could there. And I'd have to get back to the elevator and then get back down to the random apartment that the groom was in and then get back up. And I was back and forth, back and forth in the elevator and running through the halls 
and I had to make sure I was there when the bride was getting her dress, having the final zip up and getting the jewelry on. I had to be there to shoot that, but I also had to be down for the groom to shoot some of their stuff. It was just this back and forth and it was, it was crazy. <laughs> Me going into 2022 with my more expensive pricing structure. <laughs> Yeah, I usually work off of a day rate and starting 2022, my day rate goes from $600 to $6,000. <laughs> when you're doing your best to survive, but the clients be like, where are my photos? <laughs> uh, speaking of that, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be filming YouTube videos right now. <laughs> <laughs> So you're that overpriced photographer. Only to some. <laughs> I'm not overpriced. I'm just expensive because my work is really high quality. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> when I'm not sure, my flash is fine, <laughs> so I check. <laughs> Well, it's not even that funny, but it <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> There's been so many bad memes today. <laughs> this is the one that did it. <laughs> I have done that before though. I have a speed light that I would take when my brother was sleeping. <laughs> and I'd hit the test button right at his face. <laughs> I was trying to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> it was so mean, but it was funny. <laughs> Just put it on, put it on full blast and <laughs> All right, thank you for watching this meme video. If you want to see more, like this video and tell me down in the comments if you want to see another. Is there a spider on me? I feel like something's crawling on me. Anyway. <sighs> uh. Well, if you want to buy this cool shirt I designed, uh, there will be a link down in the description to buy that. The store is almost ready, like you can't buy it right at this minute, but in maybe a week or two, the store will be all up and ready to go and you'll be able to buy this wonderful shirt and you'll be able to buy this one. It's a hoodie. Look, my logo. Come on, there we go. My logo. Yeah, let's get a close-up on that but yeah if you want to buy this or this or hats or even better my prints of my photography like that one uh, on canvases or framed prints you can go to the link in the description roamwest.store the store will be going live pretty soon it's gonna be awesome thank you all for watching like comment subscribe do all that stuff if you want to see another meme video from me about photography or videography or the different things I do let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Why is my chair so loud? I mean, how long was that recording for?